It's been well over a year since we received and reviewed our Herman Miller sale. But let's be honest, a lot can change in a year. So I'm just gonna run through the chair, give you my thoughts, my opinions on it now that we've had so long to use it. So the first major change with the sale is obviously gonna be the price with the crazy inflation that we're seeing right now. You can get the sale for as cheap as six or $700 if you get it really specced in the basic version. But when you get it fully loaded like we've got here with the adjustable lumbar, the four-way arms, and the seat depth adjustment, it is gonna get over $900. I believe it's $905 right now. I do recommend getting all of these adjustments. I really think that they're worthwhile, but it is gonna cost you a little bit extra, so keep that in mind. Next thing I'm gonna take a look at is going to be the overall sizing of the sale. Now, it is rated for 300 pounds and it does have a good seat height range for that 95th percentile but I do believe that the specs are more catered to uh, smaller petite shorter individuals someone more like myself maybe 5'8 or shorter I'm about 180 pounds so somewhere around there or smaller would be good for the sale just for a couple reasons the first being the seat depth I've got it fully extended out it does have seat depth adjustment but even fully extended out, you can see that it's about the perfect fit for me. I've got two finger lengths behind here. I wouldn't want it any shorter, but I, if I was taller, it could be a problem. And then the other thing is gonna be the backrest. So the backrest is really suited for someone my height. You can see if I was any taller, the top of it might be hitting me and my shoulder blades a little bit funny, which could cause some discomfort. So just due to the overall sizing of the chair, the width, the depth, I do think it's really suited for someone about my size or smaller. So keep that in mind when shopping for the sale. When looking at the build quality on the sale, I do still feel that it is a very well-built chair, even after a year or year and a half that we've had to use it. This has actually become the daily driver of someone in our marketing team, Joe. If you've seen the Joe cam from our tier list, he uses this chair every single day and it has held up very well. You're not gonna see any noticeable wear on the armrests, no noticeable wear on the backrest, the seat foam is holding up very well. All of the functions still work perfectly. So it's a Herman Miller chair. And so that's as expected, they hold up forever. And even though this is a bottom tier chair in their tier list of chairs, it's still gonna hold up better than in my opinion, most office chairs on the market. When looking at the adjustment package, I do feel that you get a ton of adjustments on the sale when you get it fully loaded, like we talked about in the price section. So adding that adjustable lumbar, the four-way arms, and the seat depth adjustment is gonna give you one of the most adjustable chairs in the entire Herman Miller lineup. And so you're gonna get seat height adjustment, which does have a nice range for that 95th percentile, about 16 inches up to 21 inches. And then you do get seat depth we touched on it being a little bit more limited though on the high side, so if you're over six foot, I'd be conscious of that. Looking at the recline of the chair, I really like the recline on the chair. It's gonna be a nice, simple synchro tilt mechanism, but it's very smooth and it operates very nicely. And this motion is just, just makes the chair very comfortable to use. They're gonna give you three limiting positions. So you got the full range like this. Then you're gonna get a halfway point and then you can lock it fully upright for that upright tasking. Now, if you're really hardcore into tasking, it does have forward seat tilt, which isn't a super coveted function, but if it's something you're looking for, the sale does have that, which is kind of nice. You're also gonna get a nice tension control knob, so if you just wanna leave the chair fully open, you can tighten this or loosen it, which is the way that I like to use the chair fully open, and then dial it in to just kind of recline at whatever comfort is good for me. And then the final thing that we're gonna look at in terms of adjustability is going to be the lumbar support because you do get a height adjustable lumbar support if you add it. And it is gonna have a pretty big range. So you can see it moves all the way up to basically your mid back and then all the way down to your lower back. It covers a pretty good range. I will say that it's not the most pronounced lumbar support that I've tested. You can definitely feel it, but it's not gonna be intrusive or it's not gonna feel like it's kind of digging into your back. So I actually really like this lumbar support system. It provides a lot of comfort in the chair. You're also gonna get good armrest adjustability when you fully upgrade the arms. So you're gonna get height adjustment. They've got a nice range. They go low and out of the way or nice and high depending on how you need to use them or your size. Then you're also gonna get depth adjustment, width adjustment, and then they pivot. So overall, they do have a good range and they should accommodate most people, most working styles, most typing styles. The comfort of the chair is obviously gonna be super important, so I'm just gonna kind of run through how comfortable I feel that the sale is and how many hours a day I think that it is actually suited for. So 
This is gonna be specifically when you get the fully loaded version, obviously, but I do think the sail is a comfortable chair and it is a chair that I could see you using for eight plus hours a day. So starting with the seat, I do like the seat design. It's an open design. You're not gonna have any hard edges, good quality foam. It's not super thick. It's more of a firm design, but I don't feel myself bottoming it out. I don't feel myself getting tailbone pain like I do on a lot of thin padded seats. So overall, I do think the seat is very comfortable and I had no problems using it or getting uncomfortable after several hours using the chair. Same goes for the arms. I think that the arms are, they're comfortable. They're not gonna be as good as like the Aeron arms or even in my opinion, the Embody, just because they kind of have this edge here. But the foam that they use is soft enough to push in. So it's not like a hard plastic where it can really be uncomfortable to use. I found them to be comfortable for the entire time that I was using them, any time that I've tested them. The one thing that I have noticed with the arm caps that can be a little bit annoying is that they're not quite as tight as a lot of products, and so they can move a little unintentionally if you're moving your arm around or mousing. But overall, I do think they're a very comfortable design. Lastly, the backrest. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the backrest when we first got it, and I still have the same feeling with the sail back. I do think this backrest is very comfortable, and it's really due to this material that they've chosen to go with this kind of rubber-like pliable material. It's not hard to the touch and it's not abrasive to your clothing or your skin, so it can be comfortable to lean against and it really molds with you and moves with you while you're working. And so it's kind of that new age design where it's really promoting you to move while you're working instead of being in one static position. And I really found that to be the case, especially after using it for long extended hours. You can see that it really moves with me and then the open back is nice for breathability. So overall, I found the backrest to be super comfortable, and then the addition of the lumbar support is nice just because you can really put it wherever you want it, give you that added support wherever you feel you need it best. So in my opinion, a great chair in the Herman Miller lineup for overall comfort, and I do think that it's a fair price point. So if you're looking for a really high-end chair, a Herman Miller product, but you don't wanna spend you know, $1,700, $1,800 on an Embody, I do think that the sale can be a very nice option because you're getting a lot of the same components, quality, warranty that you're getting with those high-end chairs, but it's actually gonna be a little bit more adjustable, and I do think some of it can be more comfortable than those higher-end chairs. If you're looking for some more office chair content, check out this video.